Hey, how you doing? Got a comment, um, and I thought I'd do a short video on it, from uh, Kate Alcott. And she said, why do I feel so down and have so many cravings uh, in the first three days? Hi, Kate. How you doing? Thanks for reaching out to us. Um, I think the first few days can really be an emotional roller coaster. There's just no doubt about it. You know, some people feel um, really up in the first few days, other people are going to feel down. And it's important, I think, to remember that your body and your mind, they're just adjusting to being without alcohol. Uh, and that can have quite a few, sometimes significant, physical and emotional changes. Now, y your brain chemistry is adjusting. It's adapting to working without the presence of alcohol in your body. And the habit is still there, right? The habit is still, the habit tracks are going to be there for a, for a long time. Um, so, you know, in the first 30 days, first 60 days, it's just about coping. It's about coping with what's going on, coping with the changes, coping with the discomfort. You know, you're used to living without alcohol. And if you've been drinking alcohol for any number of years, I don't think your brain goes through a lot of adjusting um, in those first few days. You know, I think it's probably, um, your brain probably thinks that there's more coming down the road. There's more alcohol going to be introduced into your body. There's more alcohol going to be coming. So what's the point in doing anything? What's the point in trying to fix anything or moving you in a direction where you're not drinking? So that's a hump that you have to get over, you know. Your thoughts might be on deprivation. Your thoughts might be on feeling sorry for yourself. And don't worry about that because we all do it, right? Every, every single one of us that goes through this journey, we all go through that feeling sorry for ourselves. Um, sometimes, not just in the beginning, sometimes later on in life as well, you know. Um, it can do uh, a lot for your brain just to know that it's okay to, to feel that way. You know, that these kind of things, you know, when you're, when you're, when the alcohol is not in your body anymore, it can lead to mood swings. It can lead to feelings of sadness, maybe feeling a little bit depressed. And you're probably feeling cravings as well. You know, you create, you create these things inside your body because you're deliberately moving away from a thing that you've been doing for such a long time. And a lot of the cravings come down to the familiar. Do you get what I mean? So remember that this phase is temporary and it does get better over time. I'll give you a few suggestions and I hope that they help. First thing, stay hydrated. You know, drinking plenty of water, um, I think it can help to flush out some of the toxins in your body. And it helps really to, to lift your mood and to give you a little bit of balance in the beginning when you need it the most, right? You know, see if you can contact uh, and connect with other people who are going through or have gone through similar um, similar things, you know, going through this journey. You know, this is a great community here. Our own pluggers, um, they're going to help you with suggestions. Uh, you know, share some of your experiences, ask for advice, and you're, you're always going to get plenty of encouragement and um, understanding. You know, if you're looking for more structured help, you can come over to us at Habits V2, the link's in the description down below. Now, some of the activities that you that you might have done in the past, you might have to change away from those because, you know, they involved alcohol. It was certainly the case for me. So find some activities that you're going to enjoy that don't involve uh, alcohol being around and that are going to take your mind off any negative feelings, negative thoughts, maybe hobbies, exercise, meditation, uh, spending people, uh, spending time with people that you care about, you know. So... Um, another tip is to really take care of yourself, both physically and emotionally. I think it's important in the beginning to, to get exercise, to try and get enough sleep. Sometimes that's difficult in the beginning. Try and eat some nutritious meals. It's good to get the, you know, to start that ball rolling fairly early. Um, and like I said, engage in activities that are going to promote relaxation, well-being. I walk for miles. That's what I did at the beginning. Uh, we were living the coast in Alicante and I would just come out, get onto the beach, walk along 
uh, and I'd do that for two or three hours at a time. Um, but it really helped me. It helped me to get over the, the cravings. It helped me to get out of that situation where I was getting those cravings. It helped me to get away from the triggers. And it helped me to uh, change my mindsets, think things through. Um, another thing is just to stay committed. You know, remind yourself of your reasons for getting this poison out of your life and focus on the positive changes that you, that you want to achieve, the things that are going to happen to you now that you've stopped drinking alcohol. You know, you'll find so many people on this journey in this community, so many of our unpluggers who will say to you, it's like getting the superpower. And that's the way to look at it, you know. So remember that each, each person's journey is going to be unique. It's a process that you have to work through. I think a lot of the time in the first month or so, in the first month, couple of months, people go through similar things, but to different degrees, right? But everyone's journey is going to be different. And it's essential to be patient with yourself, to be kind with yourself. You know, you're not alone in this. And I believe in your ability to overcome these initial hurdles. I've coached so many people through this journey and it can feel like the shittiest time when you're going through it. But once you get past it, uh, it, it adds to your strength. It makes you stronger. So stay strong, keep moving forwards, onwards and upwards. Um, if it helps, our free course is still available. Uh, it might give you some ideas um, for the early days. Click on the link down below in the description. Take good care of yourself and I will speak to you again soon. I really hope this helps you out. All right, take care. Bye now.